Hi, I'm Frank Catalano, inventor of the grass stitcher. During the many years of owning a lawn care service, it was always mind-boggling for me to see how many lawn care customers jump from one lawn care service to the next. When I asked a new customer why it is that they left their previous service, they always said the same thing. They just weren't happy with the condition of their lawn. So it became very apparent to me that what we needed to do to keep customers was to make sure that their lawn looked great at the end of the season no matter what. So we fixed every bare area, every problem area that arose during the season. Unfortunately, ju there just wasn't any good tools. Whatever we used was very hard on the body, didn't work very well, and most of them just broke. So I invented the grass stitcher. With the grass stitcher, we just grabbed it off the truck, fixed it easily, um, we did it day in and day out because it's easy on the body and the customers really appreciated it. In fact, our customer retention rate grew to over 90%. Our, custom, our customer base just grew because they told their neighbors and friends and it just worked out fantastic for us. So I put together this video to let you know what a grass stitcher is, how it works, and answer common questions regarding the grass stitcher. I hope that the grass stitcher works out as well for you as it has for me. The grass stitcher is a tool that is designed specifically for planting grass seed in bare soil or by perforating directly through dead lawn and leaving it. Leaving the perforated dead lawn, you just broadcast grass seed over the damaged area. The dead thatch acts as a protective covering, shading the seed and retaining the moisture for maximum germination. Then just water for the next 10 to 20 days until the seed germinates. The grass seedlings grow through the dead lawn. The grass stitcher recycles the dead thatch and the existing soil, requiring no additional amendments for excellent lawn repairs every time. The grass stitcher is efficient and ergonomic. It delivers 100% of the applied force in a downward direction. This important ergonomic feature makes it easy to penetrate hard ground and thick thatch, so the seed makes it into the soil at the correct depth. There are two ways to operate the grass stitcher. You could either use your leg muscles or your body weight. Either way, there is no need to use arm or back muscles. The patented wheels make a unique perforation. They create an extra wide hole surrounded by loose soil. When you broadcast seed over the perforations, the seed easily finds its way into the extra wide hole. When you water, the loose soil falls into the perforation, covering the seed, creating the all important soil seed contact for excellent results every time. When people first see the grass ditcher, the first thing they touch are the wheels. And then they ask, why are these wheels made of plastic? How come they're not made of metal? I explained to them I initially made them out of metal, but then discovered a better material. First off, the wheels are not an ordinary plastic. They are made of a unique fiberglass polycarbonate combination. This material is extremely strong and resilient. I had tried hardened steel first, but hardened steel is very heavy, rusts, and is very expensive to make. The grass stitcher wheels are resilient and are designed for continually impacting hard objects. When the tines strike a hard object, they flex, then return to its original position and structure. This minimizes stress and material failure for years of use. The grass stitcher wheels are lightweight, reducing user fatigue. There are other metals that are lightweight, like aluminum and metal alloys, but they tend to bend and knurl. And when they bend, they stay bent, greatly reducing its ability to perforate the ground and once they bend, they eventually break at the bent stress points. Tools need to be lightweight to reduce user fatigue. The total weight of the grass stitcher is only eight pounds. Plus the unique wheels won't clump up with heavy soil like metal wheels do. Keeping the total weight to only eight pounds so you could use it all day long without excessive fatigue. The grass stitcher wheels are mass produced through an efficient injection molded process. This process drives the cost down making them much less expensive to produce as opposed to machining, metal stamping, or die casting. Still, some rocky soils can be unforgiving for any material and could cause a wheel time to break. On the rare occasion a wheel time does happen to break, the grass stitcher will continue to work great and won't leave you with a disabled tool when you need it the most. 
Plus, it's quick, easy, and inexpensive to replace a wheel. At $1.50 per wheel and less than 5 minutes to replace, the grass stitcher will give you a lifetime of value. The grass stitcher also comes in a double model, 20 inches wide. But if you bought a single grass stitcher that is 10 inches wide and you want a double grass stitcher, no problem. Just buy an optional head, bolt it together, and turn it into a double. Occasionally some people say, I've seen something like that before. I explain to them what you've seen is a garden cultivator. While these tools have some visual similarities, both having pointy wheels, they are built and made for completely different purposes. A garden cultivator is made to loosen the surface of soil for the purpose of weeding, and the grass stitcher is designed to quickly and easily make perforations that are ideal for planting seed. A garden cultivator has poor leverage and cannot easily penetrate hard soil and thick thatch. If you ever used one of those garden cultivators, you know how quickly and easily your upper arms and back muscles get sore. That's because straight shafted tools are inefficient. When you apply force to a straight shafted tool, the energy is dissipated through the shaft, wasting over 50% of your exerted energy. When you run a garden cultivator over the soil, you get kind of a slicing of the soil as a result of the scissor action design. The slicing of the soil works to uproot weeds, but it does little to open the soil for the purpose of accepting seed. This is because of the diameter of the tines and scissor configuration of the design, which limit the perforation size and depth. Some people try to use the grass stitcher like a straight shafted tool because that's what people are used to. Unfortunately, you will get poor results using it like this because there is no leverage and the wheels will not penetrate thick thatch and hard soil. The grass stitcher works differently. It is very efficient and if used correctly, only requires leg muscles or body weight. For hard soil, slide the horizontal handle up and use the foot pad to apply a downward pressure on the wheels. Then roll it over the damaged lawn area. Keep the grass stitcher close to you. Do not extend beyond 12 inches from your body while running it back and forth over the damaged lawn area. This maximizes the needed downward force. For soft soil, slide the horizontal handle down and use your body weight. Lean on the horizontal handle, applying a downward pressure to the wheels. Then roll it over the damaged lawn area. Again, keeping the grass stitcher close to you, do not extend beyond 12 inches from your body while running it back and forth over the damaged lawn area. So there you have it. That's a grass stitcher. It's the world's first and only lawn repair tool. The quickest, easiest, and least expensive way to repair a lawn. Thanks for watching.